So what I'm going to do is now is I'm actually going to show you a keylogger live and show you how it can steal my information. So over here on my laptop, I'm going to show you three things, type of things that we do every day. So over here, I have a browser. Um, over here, I have uh, my VPN client because I'm going to act like I'm going to log into my company's um, corporate network. And up here, I have one of those key loggers that I was just talking about. And you'll notice that uh, I'm just moving the key logger now. Um, I have two different antivirus programs on here. Uh, I'm not going to say who they are, but I will say that neither one of them know that this keylogger is even sitting here. And they're not giving me any indication. So here I am, I'm going to go to my, I want to go to my bank, and you watch the keylogger as I'm typing. So I'm going to go to my bank, which happens to be Wells Fargo. And as you can see, the keylogger now knows where I bank. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my username and I'm going to put George and now I'm going to come down here to my password box and most people think that the password box on the bank is encrypted. It isn't. It's only obfuscated. It's, it just puts asterisks to show you uh, to stop the shoulder surfer but up here in the keylogger you'll actually see what I type. So I'll use my password as password for, for example. And as you can see, the keylogger was able to steal my bank's URL, it was able to steal my username and my secret password for logging in. Now I'm going to come over here to my VPN client. So I want to log into my company. And the crown jewels are right there, that password field. So again, I'm going to use the, the, the word password. And as you can see, the keylogger was able to steal my, um, my, my credentials for logging into my corporate office. And obviously, that, has, that is how the majority of these breaches are over the last three to five years. Keyloggers, uh, phishing attacks, are going against the employees and not knowingly an employee is open up what looks like a legitimate email. Uh, they're downloading a file or they're being directed to a link which then downloads a keylogger. And once that gets on the system, that company is now able to be breached because those credentials are able to be stolen by the keylogger and sent off to the hacker. So I hope that this gives a little bit of education into the dangers of keyloggers and why we need to be so vigilant in anything that we think about clicking on and scrolling through on the internet. Appreciate the time.